Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another episode of Bruin Build. Today we are back in the steampunk city on this giant tower of coal. Uh, I had to do some beacon mining to get some more stone and uh, well, ended up getting a ton of coal as well. So I decided, you know what, our coal supplies are running low. So I'm going to go ahead and mend my tools and stuff and my wings with doing some mining of coal. Not very much experience, but if it's just like, you know, all experience counts at some point. So today, what we're going to be doing is building over yonder. But last episode, we built this cool looking sheep factory wool farm. And I actually haven't done anything with this since. Um... Uh, the back walls are still not done, and it's mainly because I ran out of granite, um, and so I had to go mining. That was one of the main reasons why I needed, well, I needed stone and granite, and I knew I had some over at the beacon, beacon area. So went over there and did that. So I will be finishing that off uh, probably this weekend um, after editing this video, and then yeah, it'll be good. It'll be all finished and uh, I'll do the interior as well because I've been wanting to do that and I think it'll be good. So let me go ahead and chop all of the chop. I get mine all of this down um, or well, nah, I don't need to mine all this down. I'm just going to go. Oh, probably shouldn't be doing this above a cactus farm. Hmm. OK. Oh, well. Um, actually, let's, I'm gonna go down here. Mm, yeah, because <laughs> I probably lost some cold to the, to the actual cactus itself. That's okay. Um, let me go ahead and put these into block form real lickety split, put them in here, and then put these there. Cool. So today, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be working on the lumber yard. And we discussed it last episode um, and a little bit. And I have done quite a bit of work off camera with the planning uh, and doing some of the groundwork uh, on it. As you can see in the distance, bada bing, bada boom. There is a full build, and that's just a storage system, which we'll take a look at. But let's go down here. Got it. Cool. So here is a good look. This is where the lumber, uh, well, I guess the lumber yard is going to be on this side, opposite of this. And it's going to take up probably the same amount of space. Um, but this area here is the tree nursery. This is what we're working on today. We're going to make three cool looking greenhouse type of things. And it's going to be interesting because I've never made greenhouse. I've, well, I've never made a greenhouse exactly. I guess I did in that in that one desert time lapse thing that I did for a hot minute. Did one? I've done one greenhouse, but uh, it'll be interesting to make a greenhouse in a steampunk style. I have an idea and I think it'll be good. Um, but anyways, this is, I decided to line it up with the pickaxe, thought that would be good. I've gone ahead and laid these out. I kept one floor, uh, I put all the floors in and then I kept one open just to be able to show you what's underneath of um, all of these. And uh, so each one of these is going to be an individual greenhouse. This is going to be oak wood here. And then this one is going to be birch. This big one is going to be acacia because we primarily use acacia logs for these larger houses. So we kind of need more acacia than we do. Uh, and I mean, honestly, these can function. I've laid them out so that they function exactly the same. It's just going to be like primary function will be oak, birch, and then acacia. But if we need tons of birch, we can use all of them at once and get tons of birch. Don't know why you would need that much birch. Um, these little squares here are going to be dark oak. Uh, these are actually, this is actually unfinished here. Uh, well, obviously this is all unfinished, but these, there's a minecart system underneath that you can see. Um, and that is collecting everything. So one of the things that I absolutely hate about getting wood is having to wait for saplings. Cause obviously you want to be able to wait for saplings so that you can actually replant trees and or get the saplings to plant more trees if i ever made a tree farm i would make it so that i enjoy chopping the wood down so i'll make it so i can chop the wood down myself but 
I don't have to wait around for stuff to get collected. I can let the trees, all the leaves despawn, drop saplings, sticks, and all that, and get sorted automatically. And that is what this system here does. So as you can see, whole bunch of rails and stuff going down. Now this one's so big, I made two tracks, uh, two separate tracks, just because it's a big nuisance to like, like it would take forever. I feel like things would start despawning by the time it actually got around to doing it all. So I broke this into two, um, but each one of these is, uh, is just one set of tracks and it's good. I like it. So there is a minecart going under there now. Um, and then same with this one. Now, one of the cool things is about this is that this collects into a dropper system that's right below, feeds into a water line that goes all the way over here. This one does as well, and that one does too. They all feed into the same water line. And then this actually is our water pipe that the items get sent up a bubble column and then sorted via sorters that are underneath these lines of, of this line of stuff and then it will be sorted into these separate sections and I've already labeled them. Uh, I decided to just do this off camera because it is another sorting system and it's not anything like amazing to look at. Um, and so I was experimenting with a bu with build style as to how I wanted uh, this more industrial area to look. Uh, I wanted to use more spruce because I'm thinking that the larger builds will use the acacia but the primary block, is, so the primary stuff for roofs and stuff on these bigger buildings will be acacia. Um, but for these smaller builds, I think using a variety of wood, since they are able to farm things easily, um, would be good. So they get separated out into the saplings, the logs, sticks, and then the leaf is miscellaneous blocks, which do we have anything in there? I thought I tested some stuff. Um, already done some testing as to if this stuff gets picked up and sorted, and it does. There is no real loss, I don't think. Um, so the only one in this section that hasn't gotten done is the minecart system for the dark oak. And so it's going to be a little interesting. Um, what's going to have to happen is this entire area is going to be half slabbed. So it's going to be pretty much non-spawnable for the most part. Um, but this section like here will have to be half slabbed or this I may bump down into the ground. That's probably a better idea. Uh, so I'll probably bump the grass here down a little bit so that we can have a minecart system that just kind of makes this big U and goes back and forth. And I think that'll be good. Now I've got this here, this marking here, and this is measuring how wide a crane is going to be. So we're gonna make a, a crane that is gonna line up along back here somewhere, probably in this area. Um, and main reason why is there is going to be a spruce and jungle tree farm as well that are gonna be a connected, just uh, together tree type of farm um, because I have a way for them to actually be able to quote unquote realistically farm trees of that size in one fell swoop um, and so that's going to be taking place here there's going to be like this system that will cut the tree limbs off and stuff push them out and then dump them into a pile and then there's going to be a big old crane here that go picks things up from here moves the big logs over into the actual lumber yard area. And then the lumber yard is gonna take place over this area here. And there's gonna be maybe a storage house for all of this lumber. Because as you also can see, this section of the octocore is the charcoal burning area for our gunpowder that this is going to be creating in mass quantities. So it all works out and it's as if I've planned it accordingly. Wow, it's amazing. Honestly, I will say, if you are doing big builds in cities like this and you have ideas, it's really good to actually have at least a little bit of a plan. Um, I, I really didn't have too much of a plan for this. I just really wanted to get a tree farm uh, made and it happened that this made for a perfect location um, for it. So what we're gonna do now is build up these three buildings. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay some foundational work on it, I'm gonna finish this guy off and get the floor in there and uh, get the minecart going there. And then 
we're going to come back and start building some more. All right. So I have been doing some work, laying some stuff out. I actually actually built the other one that is behind me. Uh, went ahead and built that up to get an idea as to what we're going to be doing with this. And this one's going to be an exact copy of it so I didn't mind building one up already um, it'll be good for me to go off of back and forth so this one is what the this is what the layout's going to be the floor is actually going to be granite I think it looks really nice uh, I'm going to swap all this grass out and path block out for coarse dirt I think it looks best overall uh, under this is just some glowstone helps keep this place lit um, and I think it looks really good I really like how this interior looks especially in the finished product so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to build the glass all the way up to this line on this one um, and then this one I have been doing the same thing just a little bit less uh, laid things out as to where various pillars are going to go and this one's going to have a roof that goes like this and it's going to be a little bit more dome shaped and I think it's going to be good so Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this wall stuff done. All the glass. Let's get it in. All right. Now that the glass is in, I went ahead and put a uh, lining on the roof here and it's going to be good. So now we're going to tackle the roof section and I'm going to just do a couple sections with you and then you'll get the idea overall. Um, so first there's going to be stairs. That'll be a slab. I would assume, I think that'll be a slab. And then this will be a stair here as well. What's going to be happening is this one in particular is actually going to be a, a little different. This one goes up stair, stair, and then starts going up a stair upside down stair block stair, and then rinse and repeat. And you just do this and it makes for a peak right here and then we'll go here here and here so we get a little bit of a little ramp here and I think that is good so I'll do that on the opposite side here and then alongside this arch is going to be a exact same one that is gonna be like this uh, made out of spruce and stripped spruce logs. So it's going to basically mirror it um, on either side and just make it so it's a spruce counterpart that will tie in well with our glass texture and it will look very nice. And so right here, actually not right there, one below it will be a stripped log and then we'll do the exact same thing on this side. Okay, so that is what it's going to look like now. And so that is actually what we're going to be doing for all of these. This one will have an upside down spruce right here, stair here, stair here. And then this is actually going to come up right to here. And then this, I think I'm going to bring this up here. And then we're going to bring a stripped log here. It's a little wacky because this, since it can be seen going all the way down, we are going to keep this not stripped, um, but it will look good nonetheless. So this will have an upside down stair, a block, and a stair. And then again, exact same thing as that. So I'm going to go ahead and do the arch here and finish this one off here. Um, and then each one of these is actually going to be a mirrored sort of arch here um, it's going to be like this and then this and then this actually will line up here perfectly and we'll have some banding that goes across that ties each one of these in to each piece here and so it'll be like support structures if you will all right so all of the support beams are in so now this can be structurally sound kind of sort of uh, now what we need to do is put in the glass uh, roof section so what we're going to be doing is lining it up with the wall here for this first section and then every bottom stair upside down stair is where the roof section is going to actually be and then right here is actually going to be the top 
portion. And so it's going to be glass here, except for these parts where the stairs meet will actually be stripped logs that are facing side by side. Uh, and then on the top here is actually going to be a wall and then a gate, a wall, a gate, and then a wall. And so this is what the top will start looking like. It's going to have this kind of wall, uh, gate, wall sort of pattern. And it's going to be all along the top there as well. Kind of ties in the framework of everything. And it starts this begin. It starts looking kind of like a, a really rigid greenhouse. And I think it looks ends up looking pretty cool. Um, so let me go ahead and do the rest of the glass roof and I'll be back. All right, so the roof is in. Ooh, I gotta finish this wall, but that's okay. So the roof is in and now we have all complete walls as well. So we're gonna work on this side detail right here on the exterior. And it's gonna be pretty simple, nothing too difficult. What we're gonna be doing is bringing this up. Actually, no, this doesn't come up. It's this that comes up. Uh, so this is actually gonna come up here to about this height, I believe. And then this is gonna come right on over to right here. Let's grab a stair, put that there. And then this is gonna come over here and we're gonna put that there, stair right there. And then boom, that is all that we need to do on that. And then what we're gonna do here is put a stair here and here. And then on every single one of these, there's also gonna be a stair. This back section I may not actually do because of this little alleyway where our storage system is. But on the exterior here, we will have stairs like so. And so now we have this area. And so what I'm going to do is I need to grab some fences really quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to put walls here, two fences here, a wall here. And then we actually need some blocks just to get up here just a little bit. Put a wall here and here. And then actually, wait a second. No, I think this is right. I think a wall here and here. And then fence, fence. And then a wall. I think that is correct. And then something I forgot is we want to take some stairs and go right like this add an archway here and that makes it so it's a little bit more interesting um, and so now the side looks like that and so that is what's going to be on the side so let me go ahead and mirror it and there we go so that is what the side is going to look like down here in these little gaps we will have planters that i will put in later but that is the general side structure now let's work on the entrance all right, so I actually went ahead and did the interior, or not the interior, the front of this because I'm running out of time. Um, I have been going back and forth helping uh, my wife, Emma. She's <laughs> playing Pokemon um, Shield, and she hasn't played Pokemon in quite a while, so she doesn't know the type matchups and doesn't really know. Like, she just doesn't have that the background of playing them. Like, I've played nearly every single one of them, so I have... A decent amount of knowledge as to what to do so i've been going back and forth helping here but this is the front um of what our build looks like and i think it's good so we only have a little bit more to do on the interior and i actually remembered i need some oak trap doors so what we're doing on the interior is we are making these cross beams that are in line with where the trees are going to be grown this way they are only allowed to be a certain a certain height um, and so this is going to be this next beam will be right here and so we're just going to do this on both sides and then we'll come back and do something uh, to make it a little bit more fancy looking so i got both of these doodads in and as i said we're going to be making it a little bit more interesting so in line with all of these we're going to have an upside down stair and that's going to make life a little bit make it look a little bit cooler and also function as a blocking mechanism gosh darn it the sun's already going down as i said 
the stairs help add a little bit of flair and uh, make it a little more interesting. Um, but what also helps is we're going to be putting trap doors, oak ones in specific, because this to me makes it feel almost as if it's like a, um, I don't know, not latticing. I forget what it's called. The just it allows sunlight to come through. We may put leaves and stuff on top of it later. Um, but it also adds like a cool little pattern on top. Uh, so we're going to do that on both sides here. And then what we're going to do on uh, to make sure their lighting is OK is we're going to have walls every three. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have walls here and here. And then we're going to put a fence gate and a fence gate. And then we will have some lanterns here, here and here and that will keep this lit up on either side um, and then it will also look nice and light up everything else a little bit um, there will be lanterns hanging on the bottoms as well which we'll get to in just a sec and then as i said we are going to have a hanging lanterns have hanging lanterns right here right there on each one of these and that will help light this area just a little bit and then in each corner also is going to be a little sort of lantern almost that's just really simple just adds a little bit of light um, and then we're going to do it lined up here um, and then in the center of the middle area right over there so light will be all over the place and then with the glowstone in the ground here everything is lit up and not spawnable which is wonderful except for this area right here and we need some light going across and so the idea that i have is to go right let's say here let's get in line here how about this and let's make ourselves a little platform here and what we're going to do is we're going to put a wall right here and here. And then let's do a fence gate, fence gate, and wall. I really enjoy using these fence gates um, with walls. It actually adds quite a bit because the wall texture will actually connect. Ooh, we're out. As I was saying, the walls actually connect to the gates, which is really, really nice and makes it so you can have some pretty cool stuff, pretty cool looking connections um, that you don't get all the time. And so we just need to put a wall on the bottom here and here, and then a fence, a fence, and then we can put lights on the bottom of those. And there we go. One fully complete, ready to go tree farm trees grow here and then they can only grow to be the short stumpy versions um, and then there's a minecart system going underneath all of this and we'll pick up every last bit of drop that is dropped in this entire area and it is really nice and the nice thing is if for some reason a big tree does grow you can just get on top of this lattice structure and it's not that hard to actually cut it down like when you have a full platform to work from so that is nice oh this is good and as you saw throughout this entire thing i did have this one built up and this is the one i've been referencing for the entire time that i've been building um, and it's got even more stuff a little bit more done to it as we'll have planters here with our, our steampunk pink flowers the peony and then here we also have access to get down on either side to be able to for some reason if like things aren't getting picked up or the minecart is stopped we can actually get underneath and crawl around now that we can get into the crawling position we can actually crawl around crawl around and stuff so i think the only thing that has to be done over there really on the inside is put coarse dirt in place of the grass and stuff but i think that is good let's take a look at this in shaders oh and so it is sunset and this is looking actually really really cool i am so pleased with how these have turned out i think they look super cool they look really great in shaders but everything looks great in shaders um, one thing i wanted to do was just to get an idea of what if we just leave a few trees in here occasionally grown what that looks like from the outside because having some green on the inside i think will be really nice and make it seem like it's actually being used oh yeah so that is what it looks like when it actually has stuff on the inside so we may do that just for fun occasionally just leave some trees in there just grown not necessarily all of them 
but just some. I think that looks really, really cool. So we're going to have two duplicates right here. And I am not going to have time for this episode to be able to get to the other tree farm, the acacia one. I'm going to have to do that off camera, but it is going to look very, very similar to these. It's just going to be um, the, I think the structure beams may not be wooden. Um, I, they may be stone because this is a, a bigger building. Actually, it's, it's not necessarily, it's not taller actually. So I may make them out of wood. I'm not sure. Um, but yes, that is, that is it. That is going to have to do it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed and well, you know what? Let me actually sleep because this, this means darkness and means bad things. So let me know what you guys think about these two greenhouses and the idea. And uh, yeah, just let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you like the video, leave a like in real life. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Hey!